Hi guys, welcome to another episode of the Armourer's Bench. Late last summer we found ourselves at the Anglesey Transport Museum in North Wales. I hadn't been before and really enjoyed the visit. They had a great collection of classic and vintage cars and bikes. And most interestingly, they had a cool little collection of British military vehicles. They had a number of trucks and special purpose vehicles from the Royal Engineers, the Remi and the RLC, and even a Green Goddess fire engine. They also had a couple of pretty cool Cold War armoured personnel carriers. Let's take a walk through and look at some of them. First up is a Saracen APC. The Saracen is a six-wheeled APC built by Alvis. It entered service in 1952 and was used extensively in Malaya and in Northern Ireland. The Saracen could carry an eight-man section along with its two-man crew. It had a 160 horsepower Rolls-Royce engine, and depending on when during its service life, its turret could be mounted with either a Browning 30 caliber M1919, or an L37 7.62 GPMG. Next up we have the truck armoured 1 ton 4x4, better known as the Humber Pig. Based on a truck chassis, it had a 120 horsepower 6 cylinder engine, and room for six men on the benches in the back. It could be fitted with an L4 brain gun, and it saw extensive use in Northern Ireland during Operation Banner, and was in service from 1956 all the way through to the early 90s. We get a look inside this one at the passenger benches and at the cab. Next to the pig was a Mark I Daimler Ferret Scout car fitted with a 30 caliber M1919 and six forward firing grenade launchers. Normally used for launching smoke grenades. The 4x4 Ferret was powered by a 130 horsepower Rolls Royce B60 straight six. This one has a canvas cover over the fighting compartment on top of the hull is the Pintle mounted Browning M1919A4 machine gun. This would have been operated by the Ferret's commander, and we can see the mount allows it to be aimed and fired from inside the hull. The later Mark II had a turret, but the open topped Mark I made use of its low profile. The Ferret entered service in the early 50s and remained in use into the late 80s, early 90s. Just short of 4,500. Were manufactured. At the centre of the military vehicle collection was a QF 40mm Mark I, better known as a Bofors. Both land and naval versions of the Bofors were used during the war. They were capable of firing 120 40mm shells per minute. It was normally manned by a four-man crew and it filled the British Army's light AA gun role and remained in service well into the 80s. We can see the gun's huge recoil spring, and to the rear of the gun is a case deflector, which connected with a trough to channel the spent cases down below the gun. The gun still has most of its controls and traverse crank handles in place, and at the rear of the receiver is the breech and the case deflector. And this is probably the biggest selector switch that you've seen today. And under the gun is a large toothed elevating arc, which raised and lowered the muzzle of the gun. On top of the gun are the huge guides for the four round clips of 40mm shells which fed the weapon. And finally, here's a close-up of the gun's information plate. Thanks for watching guys, hopefully at some point in the future we'll get back to the Anglesey Transport Museum with a proper camera. And also take a look at some other examples of these vehicles in the future. If you're ever in Anglesey, the museum is well worth a visit. 
If you enjoyed the video, please don't forget to like, comment, share, and subscribe. This really helps with YouTube's algorithms. If you'd like to support the project, check out our Patreon and coffee.com pages. Thanks again for watching. See you in the next one.